Hi guys, this is Angela Fireflare One, and um, I may not be like talented enough like to post like high quality videos on here or anything, but I do draw, and I'm gonna show you a couple of my drawings if <laughs> just for a little bit. So I'm just gonna continue. All right, this one is a picture of all the Eevee evolutions. Now, what inspired me to draw this one was um, this the Eevees. Uh, have the old ones, as you see, um, have all the, all the fluff on them. And uh, that's why I did it, because all the old ones have fluff and the other ones don't. So the other ones have to be kind of jealous of their fluffy swagger. That is why Evie's saying you are jealous of our fluffy swagger. And so, there's that one. And then there's this comic that I'm doing. <laughs> um... It's really just of my character, Angela, uh, hence the Angela Fireflare one. She was originally a Sonic character that developed kind of into a, an anime character just later on. And this is just sort of a comic that I've been drawing of her. I don't really know where... I know where I'm going with it. She re-encounters a friend of hers that's named Kiala. That's one of my other friend's characters. So, yeah. Okay. And then I drew Shippo. Shippo, um... To be honest, I think it looks really good. Uh, I drew this for someone on Twitter, and um, I showed it to one of my friends, and he said that it looked real, um, that Shippo looked more like a boy than he does. So, I was real, I was real happy about that. Alright, and then I drew Gotenks here from Dragon Ball Z. And this was another for another person on Twitter, and I really think he turned out well. Okay, these are my, uh, this is, um, a picture I drew for, again, for somebody on Twitter, but this is my character. Her name's Arenka, or you can call her Erin, and this is their character, Brandon. Um, we're doing a role-playing thing where, um, they go out and get married. Um, and this is sort of kind of on the Vegeta thing, I guess, and, um, and they end up getting, you know, go out and stuff, so I thought this was really cute. I really like how it came out. <laughs> you know, this is Angela in um, her uh, Sonic form. And then this is my other OC. Uh, she, her name is Sonica. Yes, I know. I, it's kind of taken the place of that other girl, Sonica. But I made her up way before I knew of the blue Sonica that Sega made. So I try not to um, copyright off of that. And I promise. Or if it's made from Sega or something. But I promise that she is not... I did not know of this other Son Sonica that before I made her. But those are my other characters. Um, now, the thing with me is I like to gender, gender um, bender. I like to change uh, characters' uh, genders. See, and the one with Aaron and Brandon? Uh, him is Aaron, and she is Brandon. And I just thought it'd be fun to kind of change up their genders a little bit. And... To be honest, it turned out pretty good. I'd say. <laughs> okay. And this is my friend's D&D character. Um, I think he is a Shadarkai that play- he, Yes, he plays a woman, but he looked really good. But as you can see, ravens or birds are not my forte, but I'm pretty sure if I could draw them, like, just regularly, I, um... If I looked off something, I could draw- just- I could draw it better. <laughs> Alright, this is kind of funny. This is Goku, Vegeta, and Krillin. Um, Goku, like, Vegeta is my first favorite character in the Dragon Ball Z series, and then Krillin is my second favorite due to, um, uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged. And this is me attached to Vegeta's back. Goku's, Goku's kind of confused, like, uh, what is, uh, Vegeta, what's that? And it's like, quiet Kakarot, if you know, if you don't acknowledge it, it'll go away, and my character's just kind of locked on. I, I, yeah, I'm, it, obviously, I'm an, and I'm an extreme fangirl. <laughs> um, another one is my character, Arenka, again. This is just her. Um, I think this turned out really well. Yes, she has no feet. I felt like just cutting it off there with her tail. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is her head. It looks kind of longish, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Um... Then there's this picture. Uh, this is her, um, 
dead brother Cody. I dedicated to my little brother that's um, obviously, well, th he's not obvious, but it, um, he's and um, but I decided to dedicate a character to him, and he turned out really pretty good. <laughs> and another one is I like Spyro, and I kind of made my own character, and her name is Crystal. Yes, yeah, she's kind of based off Cinder since I um, didn't really, I wasn't most really that familiar with it when I began out. But as it kind of went on, I tried to change her up a little bit to make her make her look like more my character, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's that. And then there's there's my um, this is a Lylon, and this is a Shade, and this is a Baby Hunter from Left 4 Dead. These are my friend. These are my friend's characters. Um, Lylon is a demon, and he is a, uh, shadow of some sort. I forgot. He's some type of race that I can't remember the name of. But, um, Lylon adores this thing. Adores the, uh, uh, hunter baby. And this is what she says, which is, he's like, You are so cute, I will keep you and name you Nibbles. You are now my Nibbles. And then, Shade's just over there like, Oh my god, why? And, yeah. And I think this is, yep, this is the last one, and this is Angela again, and she's colored. Um, I really think this is pretty good, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, um, you can either follow this one, her name's Angela Fox, at Angela Fox, or you could follow my, um, uh, what's it called, my, uh, Dragon Ball Z account, which is Erin, and she goes by, um, uh, Erin Kasayan, except the I is sort of between the A and the N. Um, I spelt it wrong, I don't know why, but either way. Well, that's all I really wanted to show you, so I'll be going. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.